There's really nothing better than a house with lots of windows that lets in lots of great natural light. But those windows are going to need window treatments. A great window treatment can transform a home. Now, whether you decide to build it yourself or work with a professional, we've got all the information that you're going to need. So if you are thinking about going the DIY route, here are some handy little ideas that can help set your window treatments apart without breaking the bank. First, you can create your own tie back for your curtains using any number of items, including vintage doorknobs. They really make for a great look, especially the glass ones. Next, if you're gonna be using your own material, there's a way that you can hem your curtains without breaking out a needle and thread. There's a product that we love called Tear Mender. It's a non-toxic fabric adhesive that you can use on just about any material, even leather. So here's how it works. You simply open it up and run it along where you want the hem to be. And then you can even use your finger if you want because it's non-toxic, so no harm done. And you spread it out, fold it over, and you hold it for a minute or two. You can use your fingers, you can use a book, but either way, after a couple of minutes, your hem is done. DIY is not for everyone. So if you want truly professional results, well, call in a professional. We're here with Luann Nigara, and she's from Window Works, and she has plenty of experience working with treatments in all sorts of areas. So Luann, thank you very much for being with us. Thanks, Mike, thanks for having me. All right, well, let's begin at the very beginning, of course, you're coming to someone's home, and they wanna know a little bit about window treatments and what they should be thinking about. So what's that first conversation like? Well, as soon as I get into the house and we decide which room we're there to see them about, I wanna get a, an assessment of the function that's happening in that room. The reason I do all that is because then I can and figure out the style of blinds or treatments or drapes that we're doing. So the function of it drives the design. Absolutely. So give me an example of, of that particular pro process. Okay, so for instance, in that dining room, we would used a sheer drapery across the three windows. The sheer drapery works for her really well because all day long, that drapery is closed, she can see the, the bus coming, the kids getting dropped off, or the kids coming and going, but that sheer drapery is giving her UV protection from that west sun all day long. It's protecting her furniture, her hardwood floors, and so forth. Any general tips for folks out there in terms of styles and, and how they should be thinking about style? Because I imagine you can mix different styles or sometimes you want to stay in the same motif. Mm -hmm. So how do, how do they go about that? There's always trends in window treatment. So right now the trend, we're riding high cornices and Roman shades. They're very versatile. I can use um, Roman shades on virtually every window. Same with cornices. But it's the sort of thing where I'm famous for saying architectural digest is not coming. So you have to live in your home. And if you really love swags and cascades and jabos and tie back panels, you know, that's your home, and you have to come in and smile, regardless of what the trends or the styles are. So generally, does the homeowner also need to have an interior designer in this process, or is that something they can choose for themselves? If we don't have the interior designer in the process, then that just puts an onus on me to get to the heart of your room better. I need to ask a lot of questions. I need to understand what furniture you're going to be placing in it, what accessories, is the style going to be modern, traditional. Then a good window treatment professional can guide you to pick the right window treatment. If you have a designer, then I love it when we work together in collaboration. Susie Chusett works in tandem with Luann, and together they devised the window treatments in this home. We came up with something that we thought really created more of a nook and not just address the window itself. And Luann had a great idea about making it so cozy by putting the fabric up on the inside, which we normally don't do, around the light. I wasn't sure how to accomplish it, so that's why it was very helpful to work with someone like Luann. Well, there you have it. Whether you decide to make your window treatments a DIY project or work with a professional, don't forget to take your time. Get what you want, how you want it. If you do decide to work with a professional, remember, communication is the key. Be open to suggestion. Don't be afraid to try new styles, new colors, new fabric. But most importantly, don't forget to have some fun.